How y'all doing? Yeah, this is Cool Joe. Previews from the show that I'm trying to do. It's called the Cool Joe Show. Basically about my everyday life or whatever I go through. But the topic of the day is about how I be losing jobs. Alright. Yeah, I was working for this company called Ally Bart. You know what I'm saying? I was working there since November of 2012. Like New Year's, not New Year's, um, Thanksgiving Eve. Yeah, alright. I've been working there until April. The reason why I lost the job because I did some stupid shit. Like, yo, um, because I knew my cell phone was about to get cut off. And then, and I was working for this comp. Um, I was working at this Chinese residential building, and um, I was working there for a few days. But I ain't gonna say for a few days. Like whenever they call me to come over there, um, I had a house phone, but I ain't have no phone. So I was working over there. I saw a phone that I'm thinking they probably wouldn't use. I didn't steal it, but I did take it. It didn't belong to me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't on the camera that I was looking left and right to see if anybody was looking. I put the shit in the bag, and when I got off, I took the shit with me. And, um,. That was the last time I was working for them, but my account manager, Michael Gray, never said nothing to me about it. Like, you ain't working for the company no more. So, it was like months go by, like April. That was the last time I was working for them. And then, um, I didn't been working. So, I wound up working for this dishwashing company called M M O B. It's a ve it's a vegetarian company it's a vegetarian restaurant that's in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So I was working there for a month. Still waiting for my security company to give me some work. They never said I I wasn't working for them. So they were like, Yeah, be patient Roger, be patient Roger. We we got some work for you. That's what my account manager was saying. So, by the way, I'm making some pranks. You know what I'm saying on my George Foreman grill. Yeah, back to back to business. So, um, uh, like I was saying, he didn't say I wasn't um working for the company no more. I told him he was like, yeah, did you take the phone? Did you steal the phone? I was like, your yeah, mic. I didn't steal it. I take. I took it. I needed a phone. So I thought that she was out the way. So I'm working in Brooklyn for this restaurant from Tuesday to um, Friday. So I'm still calling on my company to see if they got some work. Do they got some work? So still working for the company, MOB. Coming in early, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I was complaining about how they be having me do extra work at this restaurant I'm working for. They. I'm supposed to be a dishwasher, you know what I'm saying? I cleaned the patio, which is all good. Then they got me doing deliveries. And, um, they got me stocking up deliveries when I get deliveries coming in. But the shit that they be having me do, that don't got nothing to do with be me being a dishwasher. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, okay, I don't mind being all that extra shit. Give me that extra money, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so like I was saying, I'm doing my job at my um, um restaurant job. So I'm still calling my security company up. Like, hey, you got some work? He's like, nah, we don't got no work. So one time that I called him, he was like, yo, you didn't know that 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 that, that you were terminated from the company. I was like, no, I w I didn't know I was terminated for the company from the company. Because you were saying, hold on, Roger, I got work for you. Give me some time. And then, then, then when my my cell phone was off, you said you was calling me for work. 
So, 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 so the shit that got me like twisted, like, yo, how you was calling me for work and then now when I call you, when I got my phone on, talking about you fucking, I'm not working for the company. You know what I'm saying? That shit got me fucking tired. I spazzed out on Michael Gray, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, fuck that. What the fuck you talking about, then? I'm like, yo, you should have been fucking told me that. When I fucking, fucking, fucking quit. When, when I fucking did that stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit got me motherfucking tight. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm working for this fucking restaurant company. Still busting my ass, doing what I gotta do Tuesday to Friday. It was just one time that I worked there. I was working there for a month, by the way. And um, it was one time that 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 I came there early, but I didn't even clock in. I just went to work and just started busting shit out. The lady was complaining about, "Yeah, Roger, you came here early." I was like, I couldn't sleep, so I got up and took a shower and headed my ass to work. She laughed. But, 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 but she had that kind of laugh like, heh <laughs> nigga, I got something for your ass. You know what I'm saying? So I'm busting that out at the work, doing what I got to do. So, 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 at the end of the day, on Tuesday, which was my last day of work, which I didn't know, um, she was like, hey, Roger, let me talk to you downstairs in the, in the basement. I'm like, in the basement, why you I ain't say nothing, but in my head, I'm like, yo, why, why, you want to talk to me in the basement? Okay, maybe because it's private, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, hey, you can talk to me anywhere. What is the problem? So she was like, yeah, Roger, um, um, we, we have a complaint about you, you, um, you not, not stocking up the, um, the, the vegetables where it's supposed to be. I'm like, yeah, um, um, it was like messed up, and then and then I just didn't know where to put it. So I was like, yeah, I messed up on it. I'm sorry. So she was like, yeah, and then and you ain't clean the patio. So I was like, yo, I'm like, yeah, you saw me clean the patio. You was looking right at me in the window. So she 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 spat out. No, you didn't. No, I no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, you didn't clean it. And she was like, yo, when when Sebastian was out, when she like, when Sebastian was out there, she was like, yeah, Sebastian, no, no, her boyfriend, the manager, the supervisor, was saying that her boyfriend was out there cleaning the patio by himself. So, me being honest, I ain't saying nothing wrong. Do, do this sound wrong. I said, maybe he should have cleaned the patio when he saw, when you saw me out there sweeping. You know what I'm saying? When you saw me out there sweeping, that's when you should have Sebastian Naz go out there and clean that patio with me. So I didn't say that. So so I walked off like, 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 like a man knowing I believe in God, knowing everything going to be all right with me. So so I walked back. I was like, yo, why you didn't tell me this earlier? Maybe I would have left. You got me working for a whole day thinking I'm coming to work tomorrow. And then, and then, and then, and then, you talking about, um, 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 it ain't working out. I was like, yo, what's the purpose for me not having a job right now? We don't really got to have a reason for you, for me, to, um, I'm saying you're not working. You know what I'm saying? And these the fucking two jobs. I know the first job, me taking a phone. I know. I know I did some dick ass shit. But he didn't say I was terminated. He should have been a bigger man and said I was terminated. And I would have been like, yo, fuck them niggas. I don't got to worry about asking them for work. But this motherfucking dishwasher shit talking about some shit that got me fucking tight knowing I came there early doing my job. I, I came there a few times late, but I also made up the time. They never said nothing about it. So so they were saying something about me fucking with the vegetables. I'm like, yo, they, they had the shit fucked up from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? The shit looked like fucked up from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? They got, they got shit a little organized a little, you know what I'm saying? In certain spots. The rest of that shit is all fucked up. So for me not to be working, I don't know why the fuck I ain't working for that job as a dishwasher. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was too too honest and and, and, and that's who I am. So I can't change for that. So that's why I'm not working for them two jobs. Because I did some dickhead shit and dickhead shit happened to me. So what they say, God don't like ugly and ugly shit does happen to me. You know what I'm saying? And this is... um. 
um, Cujo from the um, Mom and Dan Corporation. You know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for the Cujo show. And this is just like a little taking about the little situation that I was going through. There's more to come, and be on the lookout.